Okay, so we have a reaction. Dinitrogen pentoxide goes to two nitrogen dioxides and half oxygen. They, we even give you the integrated rate law. That would not happen on the exam, but here you go. Well, we'll give it to you on the back, but we won't plug in the concentrations for you. I want to know the concentration of N2O5 after one minute of decomposition. If I have this initial uh, concentration and this rate constant. So, uh, I'll write this out as if you didn't have this at first. The initial, con uh, the integrated rate law is this. Okay, that's what we derived. Uh, I know, let's zoom in a little bit. I know the initial concentration is 0 0.40 molar E to the minus K, 5.2 times 10 to the minus 3, it's 1 over seconds, times the time. One minute, make sure you line up the units of time. So I'm not going to write one minute, I'll write 60 seconds. So the time units will cancel seconds. Right here and here, and I'll be left with molarity in the end. So that's going to equal uh, 0 0.29 molar. So I don't know why I put parentheses around it. I should have underlined. Okay, 0.2 molar. Okay, how long will it take for N2O5 to drop to 0.2 molar? So here's 0.29. How do I get it to 0.2 molar? Well, you can use the same equation. Just say 0.2 equals 0 0.4 e to the minus 5.2 times 10 to the minus 3 over seconds. And we have to solve for time. So now we're solving for time. Uh, I'm going to get my answer in seconds because the rate constant is in seconds. Time uh, will equal 133 seconds. So a little over a minute, uh, about a minute and a half, or no, almost, wait, a little over two minutes. Uh, this is a special time, what is it? This is a half life, I just dropped to half. I went from point 0.4 to point 0.2. So I could have calculated it using this equation down here, or 0 0.693 divided by 1.2, uh, no, it was 5.2, 5.2 times 10 to the minus 3, you should get the same answer. Okay? So you could have used, I'll move this up so you can see it, could have used either calculation to do this problem. It doesn't matter. If you notice it was a half-life, you must support calculation, use a half-life formula.